During our All Saints Day ritual of remembrance, we remember that in the face of darkness and death, the risen Christ is our light and life. Today, we remember those Asbury members and constituents who have died, along with those who were ministered to by Asbury since last All Saints Day. As names are read, we invite family and friends to light a candle in their memory, in the sure and certain hope of resurrection. And after the names are read, I would invite everyone to light a candle in memory of loved ones, those who have gone to be with Christ in heaven. Light a candle in gratitude for the gift of their life. Today we remember Elizabeth Betsy Semple. <phone rings> Betsy was a loving daughter, sister, aunt, and wife. She was a planner, always making preparations for family gatherings and holidays. She loved to travel with her husband Jake and spend time with the whole family. Betsy loved her pets as well. By faith, Betsy leaned into the arms of her Savior. Today, we remember Shirley Chambers. <phone rings> Shirley was a loving mother, wife, and grandmother. Shirley had a talent and love for music. She was a gracious hostess with a vibrant sense of fashion. She was a woman of deep faith. Today we remember Donald Nelson. Don was a loving husband, father, and grandfather. He was a hard-working farmer for over 50 years. Don had a gracious, positive personality and a warm smile. He was always there for family and friends to offer a helping hand. Don had a kind and sincere faith. Today we remember Joyce Christofferson. Joyce was a loving wife, mother, and grandmother. She was always up for new adventures and enjoyed traveling. She liked to decorate and garden. Her creativity showed in her home and her work as a bridal consultant. Joyce was a woman of faith and compassion and humor. Today we remember James Beto. Jim was a loving husband, father, grandfather, and brother. Jim was a visionary servant leader, president of Dakota Wesleyan University, a candidate for South Dakota governor, an educator and community leader. Jim lived an active life of grace and faith, encouragement and service. Today we remember Amy Ida Miller Morrison. Amy was a beloved wife, mother, daughter, sister, teacher and friend. Amy brightened the world with joy and life, creativity and encouragement, music and polka dots. Amy had a love for Jesus and compassion for others. Her effervescent life was an act of worship. Today we remember Donald Hurley. Don was a loving husband, father, and grandfather. He was a hardworking farmer for over 40 years. He also taught for years putting his master's degree to work. Don loved to work in his yard and garden. He had a deep and sincere faith. And today we remember others who have lived and loved and shared their lives and their faith with us. Today we light a candle in their memory. Let us pray. O God of life and life eternal, we thank you for the great company of those who have finished their course in faith and now rest from their labors. We thank you for the legacy of their lives of faith and we praise you that through our faith in Jesus Christ, our lives never end. We thank you for the home you prepared for each of us, a home not made with hands, but eternal in the heavens. In Jesus' name, amen.